Alright guys, the real under here again today, and today guys, I'm doing a review on Wolves 4-0 thrashing over Bolton. But more importantly, just before I get into that, we are champions of the championship. This win, we only needed the point, but this win has moved us up to 98 points, and we are now champions of the championship. Fully deserved, we've played the better football, we've got super quality like Nevers and that, and we have... Just been absolutely brilliant this season and I can't wait till next season or even that fact next week when we actually get to lift the title at home against Sheffield Wednesday. Anyway guys, last week, not exactly the same time, but last Saturday we were declared promoted to the Premier League because Brentford got a late equaliser against Fulham and everyone was over the moon. Now guys, we have got the championship title in our bags as well. Brilliant first season for Nuno and some of the players like Jota, Neves and people like Bolly as well who could be joining us on the permanent deal. Hope he does. But let's get into the review anyway guys. Bolton are trying to stay up. One less relegation spot now after Sunderland were confirmed relegated today. But Bolton were tr are in this relegation battle and I thought they'd give us an absolute fight. And to be fair they did create some chances. They did get on the front foot at times. They did go directly and they had quite a few shots as well. On the other hand, guys, we dominated a lot of the ball. Like I, I, I saw that coming because that's what we like to do. And when you give chances through one-on-ones to Benny um Barry Douglas can finish as well if, if he gets the chance. He hasn't scored too many goals this season. I think that was his fifth today, but he has got a lot of assists as well. But brilliant finishes from the lads today and we fully deserved the win. Bolton... It's just a difference of quality. We've been in that position where we've lost to teams like Newcastle and that because of quality. And now we're doing it to other teams. And it's always better to be on the winning side than the losing side. We've been on the losing side enough. It's about time was on the winning side. Brilliant finish from the more. I have seen the goals. The DR goal Jota won. Held a Costa plays him through who had an incredible game. Brilliant performance by Costa. That's the old Costa. That's the Costa everyone loves. Okay, when he first came back this season, he wasn't quite up to it, but he had just been out for a couple of months with an injury. That was the Costa everybody wants to see, and hopefully he can continue that on. Diogo Jota got his 19th of the season, I think it was. It's either his 19th or 18th. I think it might be his 18th, actually. But he's just come back onto scoring form for us, Jota, and showing why we are signing him in the summer. Benny Cafolbe scored a goal and also won a penalty. His goal, brilliant. Um, took it round the keeper after the beat. Conoco just lumped the ball down the pitch. Benny Cafolbe got on the end of it, took it round the keeper, finished it well. For the penalty, guys, he did have a shot. It was cleared off the line. He's managed to hold the bloke off and then Carl Henry has fouled him for the penalty. Not the worst foul you'll see in your life, but in my eyes, it is a foul. That's my opinion. And then Connor Cody, the captain, stood up. Great finish from him. And I think that's his first goal since August 2016. But I don't know if he has scored for us before. But um, if he's, you know, if that's the only goal I can remember him scoring. But I think he has scored one for us before. I'm not 100% sure, though. So if any of you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, brilliant season. While at the end of it all, you saw the fans delight, you saw the players delight, celebrating and that. One last target, as I said, let's get to 100 points. That is the last thing we can do this season. And then after that, we have broke some records. We have with most clean sheets in the world, stuff like that. And we've won the league. We've got promoted. And what else could you ask for apart from having Premier League football next season by being champions of the championship for the fourth time in our history? For Wonder of the Week this week, guys... I thought, to be honest, I thought I'd have to give it to Neves because of the way, some of the way he's played this year. But actually, guys, I'm going to give it to Helder Costa for one of his best performances in a Wolves, in a Wolves kit in ages, really. He's played well this season, but that was definitely the best he's, he's been for us, I think. Anyway, guys, that's it from me today. If you're new, hit the like button. If you liked it, why not subscribe? And I'll speak to you guys later.